Hello everyone! Ito si Zion Tech at pag-usapan natin ngayon ang mandatory requirements ng Microsoft upang tayo ay makapag-install ng Windows 11 sa ating mga personal computers. Let's get started! Siguro aware na tayong lahat na ang Microsoft just recently inilabas ang pinakabagong build ng Windows, at ito ang Windows 11. At sabi ng Microsoft ito yung pinaka most powerful na operating system na na-build ng Windows. Those who were already installed and tested this build they hits of the exciting features, gaya ng redesigned taskbar, and start menu, tapos mayroon na itong, ability to install Android applications. Di ba napakaganda? By using your Windows computer makakapaglaro ka na ng Android games. At marami pang iba, subalit, sa gitna ng mga improvements sa latest build na ito, may mga hidden caveats, upang tayo ay makapag-install ng Windows 11. Microsoft has implemented two things, para makapag-install tayo ng Windows 11. First, ang ating computer kailangang mayroong TPM 2.0 chip ito yung Transted Platform Module. Ito yung module na responsible for storing and generating encryption keys sa ating computer hardware, na sabi nila, which is safer than using a software approach. Dahil sa module na ito mahihirapan ang isang malicious software na i-access ang ating mga personal computers. And this is mandatory in order to install Windows 11. Ngayon paano natin malalaman kung ang ating computer ay may TPM module? Malalaman natin ito by typing tpm.msc sa run box, and if it says that the TPM is ready for use, and the specification version is listed as 2.0, then meron kang ang TPM module then you're good to run Windows 11. Sa kabilang banda, it might say that a compatible TPM could not be found. Pero huwag kang mag-alala, baka pwede mo lang e-enable ang TPM functionality sa iyong computer system by going into your BIOS settings. If your PC was built after the mid of 2010, there's a good chance that it has TPM functionality, regardless of whether it has a dedicated chip. Dahil sa katunayan ng ating mga CPUs are actually included TPM firmware already. Ngayon ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ito e enable ang PTT platform sa ating mga BIOS. Paalala lang ang ating BIOS screen will vary depending on the model you have. But the process will still be definitely similar. Una kailangan nating e-boot up ang ating computer, then I'm going to press the delete key on the keyboard to enter the BIOS. Ngayon makikita mo sa bandang baba sa may right side ang advanced mode, at e-click natin ito, at you can press F7 as well. At kung nasa advanced mode na tayo, we're going to click the advanced tab sa may bandang itaas, at pupunta tayo sa HFW configuration. So, andito na tayo, makikita natin ang TPM device selection. Kailangan lang natin siguraduhin, that this says firmware TPM, which will use the PTT in our CPU instead of the hardware TPM chip. At i-restart na natin ang ating computer, at makikita na natin ito na naka-enable na, at functional na ang ating TPM module by typing tpm.msc in the run box. And there you go! Illegible ka na to install Windows 11 sa iyong PC. Thanks for watching, hope it helps, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.